welcome to the Smart Notebook How to video series. This video is how to use the Smart Notebook Equation Editor. I'm in a notebook file and I'm on a new page and I'm going to use the Equation Editor to insert an equation to this page. On the top menu, I'm going to press the add-ons icon to open its menu and then locate the Insert Equation button, which has the Epsilon and cursor on it. And I'm going to press that to open the Insert Equation window. I'm going to put my cursor inside the text field and add my equation. My equation is y equals x squared. So I'm going to type that out. Right now I need a superscript 2 so I'm going to go to the row here and here's the superscript button. I'm going to press that and when I do you'll see that my cursor moved up to the superscript position. I'm going to type in 2 and I can add other stuff here if I need to but I don't. So I'm going to press the space bar to move back to normal script position. That's the end of my equation and I'm going to press Insert Equation button at the bottom. You can see the equation was inserted to my notebook page. Now I want to add that same equation to GeoGebra. On the top menu again, you can see the add-ons menu is still open. This time I'm going to press the Insert GeoGebra widget button. I press that and the GeoGebra widget opens on my notebook page. I'm going to grab my equation and I'm going to drag and drop that onto my GeoGebra area. On the left side you can see my equation has been added and if I press that you can see it, the equation graphed on my GeoGebra. I want to add a second equation so I'm going to go to the top menu again and my add-ons menu is still open and I'm going to tap Insert Equation again to open the Insert Equation window. I'm going to type in my new equation y equals 3x minus 2 and when I'm done I'm going to press the Insert Equation button. I'm going to grab my equation and again drag and drop it onto the widget area. You can see the equation was added to my left hand and it's been graphed out at here. I want to show you one more thing. I can adjust this line any, any direction I want and as I adjust it on the left hand side you'll see that my equation updates at the same time. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos in this how-to video series.